couldn't imagine, you know, losing a child. I didn't hear about it until this morning. Oh, I'm still sick. I really hate, hate, hate that this happened. People who live in a southeast side apartment complex are shocked at the news that a two-year-old boy died after allegedly getting into his parents' medication. Thanks for choosing us at 6. I'm Caitlin Kendall. And I'm Samantha Myers. As ABC 21's Corinne Rose explains, the little boy's three-year-old sister remains hospitalized while detectives continue to piece together what happened. She loves them kids. Each little milestone, she goes wild. She just told me this morning, he just learned how to say blueberry. And that just crushed me. Neighbors are still trying to wrap their heads around the fact that the small bundle of energy they knew as two-year-old Terrace Johnson won't be rushing up to hug their legs anymore. At about 8.30 Wednesday evening, Fort Wayne police went to the Centennial Townhome Apartments on the city's southeast side where two children were unresponsive. Paramedics found two-year-old Terrace and his three-year-old sister in life-threatening condition and administered Narcan, typically used to reverse the effects of a drug overdose after learning the children got into their parents' medicine. Medics did CPR and rushed the children to the hospital, but little Terrace died right after he got there. I've never met nobody that little that died, was the, that close to somebody that little. I don't know. I just, I don't know. She says her door was always open to Terrace and his sister, who used to run back and forth down the hall from their unit to hers. Just so sweet. Just little tiny. Yeah, they're both of them sweet. The little girl, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed always. Uh-huh. Yeah, they were just sweet kids. I have a three-year-old, and I couldn't imagine, you know, losing a child. And I'm just praying for the family. Some people on social media have been quick to condemn the mother for her children allegedly taking some sort of medication. But neighbors we talked to said she's young but a good mom. And that toddlers can move in the blink of an eye, so people shouldn't be so quick to judge. God knows what happened, so, you know, you can't be nasty because you never know what, what can happen, you know. So everybody just needs to pray for him. I know she's in shock. Yeah. Yeah, ugh, I just, I feel for her. Oh my God, I feel for her. After an autopsy, the Allen County coroner said Little Terrace's cause and manner of death are pending while detectives continue their investigation and toxicology tests are run. Thursday afternoon, crime scene technicians accompanied Allen County prosecutor Karen Richards on a walkthrough of the apartment so she could see the scene for herself. At last report, the three-year-old girl remained in the hospital, but her condition has not been made public. Corinne Rose, ABC 21.